The new gallery, which features many archaeological artifacts from Gibraltar's sites, including Gorham's Cave, some for the first time, was inaugurated by Minister John Cortes alongside the museum's director, Professor Clive Finlinson. The, the idea of pillars of Heracles or Hercules is is underplayed in Gibraltar. I don't think we make enough of it. Mm. So. What you will see in this gallery is all the work that we've been doing. The Neanderthal steal the thunder, but I think a lot of the work from Gorham's and other places in Gibraltar show the importance that this place had for, for that. So. The period covered starts with the Neolithic around 7,400 years ago, through to the Bronze Age around 4,000 years ago, and culminates with the period of greatest maritime activity at the pillars between the 8th and 3rd centuries BCE. The display also includes Roman artefacts which mark the end of the period covered in this new gallery. But I think this is a period that most people forget um, and the work that you've done, you've mentioned three of the things that I've been involved in, um, have served to highlight that really important part of our history where Gibraltar was um, I probably from your work very significant in the context of the Mediterranean. Um, and it's absolute, uh, absolutely wonderful that you put this gallery together and it gives me great pleasure to formally open it on Museum Day uh, back uh, outside the virtual world and into the reality certainly that our generation know. This all happened during International Museum Day, which has been celebrated in Gibraltar since 2002 in the form of an open day. And this time was held in person at the museum for the first time since 2019, following the COVID-19 pandemic, which saw Museum Day events held virtually. And the return to the museum saw a good turnout with activities including face painting, workshops, a treasure hunt and fancy dress competitions.